I don't really read those things much anymore. Yeah, very common. Uh, you're gonna get summon stones, and you need to talk to her to get out, like, to turn them into summons. And you later you get a buck from Sydney you have to repair it, and I'll talk more about that later. So you can trade with a friend if you want magic, if you're really into it. I know I picked the magic thing, but... Yeah. Uh, I think if you... Yeah, we're gonna... I could just go to the government ship now, I think. But instead... We are going to... Fail at jumping. <laughs> we're going to go back. Because there is another cutscene. There's an unexpected person. It's gonna make you feel like... Oh my god, the game's already over. Okay, well I can't, I uh, cannot get up there. I thought I was supposed to do it too, but... That works. Uh, okay, so... I guess we don't get the cutscene. Yeah, the cutscene probably happens next time. And right here, you can use Thunder later. And he has... Oh, and open this. So you, at least you can get to the first district to here faster. For later when you have to repair the thing from you said. Unless you want to trade. But, yeah, I don't know. What am I saying? Uh, okay. So we're going to the world. And they're going to tell you how to use the gummy shell. Skip this. They talk by themselves, so that sucks. But oh well. Oh, okay. Never mind. They do time. <laughs> what are you doing? Sucks. Okay. I do not remember looking at it like this because I still have all the worlds. Uh, okay, so as you can see, that's battle level one, it's battle level two. And just as an expert mode, we're going to be doing the hard one. <laughs> you could customize your gummy ship, but I don't really have any parts right now for it. And I haven't flown a gummy, sh gummy ship in a long time. This is going to be hard. The music for the gummy ship is awesome. Power <laughs> I never realized that. Alright, so hold X to shoot. Um, left hand left stick controls that from your cursor and where you're shooting. And yeah, you just blow up ships and you can get parts to break up a ship. See? Later on, the battle level gets more um, better. Um, like, gets tougher and the sheds get tougher too. If you touch things like if you touch things like those things, then um you get I'm trying to think. Uh, you get like if you touch the out the field you get hit a lot more than when you just touch it on the ship so just watch out for that. Besides that the ships don't aren't really that much of a threat. So they won't really use that much. I was so confused when I was a kid. I was like, when I got the parts, I was like, cool, I get free stuff. I was like, cool, a shield for Goofy. I was thought the shield meant shield for Goofy. I don't know, I was so stupid. Yeah, and some things take more hits to rate than others. Oh god, I'm just a special. Uh, if you hold a circle, you go slower. And later you get lasers and you just try and them. fire them. No, I'm not gonna make that fun for a thing that everyone says. <laughs> it's kinda boring. Later you get something called a warp drive. And you can just warp to other places that you've been already. Much more useful, unless you like the gummy ships things. And 
personally, I like the better Kingdom Hearts 2, even though I still barely ever played them. So I don't know, like, I, if you have a good customized ship, I like them here. Oh wow, man. But if you have a crappy ship, I like Kingdom Hearts 2 better. Because you don't really need to customize your ship that much. Well, actually, I do. And we made it to Olympia's Coliseum. Olympus. That was called Olympia's. The home of our favorite character. Well, not really favorite character, but favorite god, Hercules. Trinity. I think there's one on the other side too. See, we found some Dalmatians. Um, let's see. Nothing there. What about over here? Oh my god. Yeah, this is like the smallest hub world. Like, world. Out of everything. Out of like every world. There's only like two main things you're doing. And we don't find out until later. Oh, well, and we go in there. Oh, another thing. When we go inside, we get another cutscene. So, yeah. When we talk to. You know who this is? Um. Good timing! Give me a hand, will you? Move that pedestal over there for me. I gotta spruce this place up for the games. <laughs> yeah, that's Phil. I don't know if he told us to move this thing. Or like, oh my god, it's so heavy. And this is gonna be so useless when we get this Trinity. You'll see what happens. It's gonna be so stupid. It's way too heavy. Too heavy? What? Too heavy? Since when have you been such a little... Wrong guy. What are you doing oh, here? Oh, wrong guy. What are you doing here? This here's the world famous Coliseum. Heroes This here is the world famous Coliseum. Heroes only. And I got my hands full preparing for the games. So run along, pipsqueaks. Look, it's like this. Heroes are coming from all over. To fight ferocious monsters right here in the Coliseum. You got a rock standing right in front of you. Yup, he's a real hero chosen by the Keyblade. And we're heroes too. Hero? That front? <laughs> What's so funny? I fought a bunch of monsters. If you can't even move this, yeah, <laughs> you can't cause yourself. The hero. Yeah. Don't worry, Phil. We all can move it. Yeah. Be like Hercules. Okay, so it takes more than brawn. Well, well, let's see what you can do. So. Um, we're gonna have to train with Phil, but that is gonna have to be for the next time we play, because I have to cut it off now. I'm gonna grab a quick seat. And, um, yeah, but for now, this has been, I hope this is the first recording of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts for the PS2. This is X Experience XX44. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys.